All right, Terry, the uh, Cavs are sitting there 5-5 uh, five and five in the last 10 games. Um, it includes a road trip out west and everything, so it's not a desperation point yet, but things have not looked real good lately. Well, you would like your team, frankly, just to play better against the best teams that you're facing. Now, I thought they came with a lot of energy and heart in their loss to San Antonio. There were some things that went wrong. They botched an inbounds play at the end of the game and so on. But at least that was a much better performance than what happened at Golden State. But there was a couple of alarming things in that game. Number one was how LeBron looked at the end of the game. Did you see him physically? How did he look to you? Tired and, and emotionally spent. Maybe yeah, just exhausted and, and yeah. frustrated. And they've been playing him. Right now, he's playing over 37 minutes a game. This is the most since his last year in Miami. In other words, so, so this is the most in three years. Michael, this is not good. And right. furthermore, what's he doing a lot now? Yeah, just dribbling a lot, pounding, controlling the ball again. Yeah, he's handling. Yeah, he's controlling the ball partly because he doesn't. They don't have a backup point guard, and partly when things don't go well, his tendency is to take it in. Right. And you know, one of the reasons not going well, what's the defense like? Well, it's not what it had been. No. I mean, those stats say they're 16th in defensive right. efficiency. Generally, you have to be in the top 10 to win a title. In fact, last year the Cavs ranked 10th in defensive efficiency. That was the lowest since any team since the 2006 Miami Heat. That was the Shaq Miami Heat. And when you get out of the top 10, you got to go all the way back to 2001. Right. Now, Granted, and you can buckle down and play better defense in the playoffs, but you want to start to develop some of these habits right now that are pretty good. And so, you know, I'm not shouting alarm or whatever, but if you're Ty Lue, you got plenty of things to talk about. One, you got to get LeBron out of there. Secondly, you got to figure out how to win some games without LeBron. You know, I would I would rest him one of these upcoming games. Yeah, I, and they're four and eighteen without him. When is that going to stop? Yeah. And then thirdly, how about defending a little better? So that would be my, my advice. And, um, you know, the playoffs are a ways away, but you do want to have your team point in the right direction. Right.